God has a great commandment, which is to love him with all your heart, mind, strength, and soul, and to love your neighbor. God also has the great commission, which is to go and make disciples of all nations, everybody, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But we also have something in James 1.27, which is what I call the great mandate. And that is God's heart for the broken. It's for the orphan and the widow. Fatherlessness is absolutely an epidemic. This has no respecter of race or you know, religion or socioeconomic bounds. It's a plague on this country like I've never seen before. The 21st century version of the widow is the single mom and the orphan is that fatherless kid. The thing that, that the father imparts into the home is a sense of identity for the home. And I always think, well, why didn't I want to get involved in the street gangs? I knew them guys, I could have. That started as a young age with a father who was willing to throw the ball with me. But what if you don't have a father that's willing to throw the ball to you? Kids are at home by themselves and they don't feel that love. So what they do is they go outside the streets and find that. And the gangs, drugs, alcohol, violence, because they want to belong to something. What would it look like if the men's ministries of the churches in this country would be more intentional about identifying the fatherless in their ranks and filling in the gap by providing a positive, godly male figure that could put their arm around that boy and raise him up? Our mission is to erase the fatherless epidemic through mentorship. I want this to be a bookmark between chapter seven and eight in your life, where the rest of your life, looking back on this experience, you can say, this is when I became a man because I chose to become a man and put away childish things. And I chose to pursue God with all of my heart and to be his student and to be a disciple. You're learning to cling to the Lord. It's the number one ingredient of being a man. It's learning to rely upon him for strength. He is your strength.